So hello there, today we do something strange because I already did a video about this but it seems some people were not understanding what I was doing in this very simple thing called array or were just unable to read so we'll make it very slowly this time, make, maybe even we will go to two minutes. I know, crazy. So first disable that thing, we don't need it and then we're gonna add something which we need to put the cube on, in this case a torus. Perfect, now we're gonna add a wonderful cube which of course is a little bit too big, so we're gonna skip it down and put it on the side where we want it to be, in this case here. Now we go into modifiers and wonderfully add an array. Because we want an object offset, wonderfully choose from this list the wonderful torus we need. There we go, but it's still too big because we have changed the size and everything, so we're gonna wonderfully apply all its transformation. You can see now it's doing nothing because it's currently in itself, so we're gonna wonderfully rotate it, and there we go, it's now wonderfully going around how we please. So there we go, I hope you like this one. But of course there are also different versions, uh, especially if something is not around as this Taurus, so we want to go and follow a certain path. So we wonderfully delete this thing, we don't need it. We're gonna add a curve, let's go for anything, it doesn't matter. Of course it's very crucial that the wonderful end point is on the starting point. So we're gonna be wonderful use this thing, put it at the end, make a right click, set art into 3D cursor, there we go, perfect, it's now at the end. We're gonna add a wonderful mesh, we're gonna add it in the scammy cube, we're gonna scale it down, we're gonna add all transformation again. This wonderful we set it to the middle point, so we have to reset it once again to the middle point. In this case uh, we can go and go to origin of germanity or to the 3D cursor, in this case it's the same position. But hey, let's wonderful add a wonderful another array this time. Uh, we can see it's a wonderful offset, but of course it's not long enough as the curve, so we're gonna make it fit the curve. Uh, make it there we go, the balance of a curve, meaning it will always have the same length as the curve. But you know, we can change it later. We're gonna add a wonderful modifier curve and we're gonna put it on the Benazar curve and you can see it's wonderfully fitting. Wow! You can wonderfully change the factor on how many you want. There we go, look at that. It's going lower. Anyways, the thing is facing the wrong direction. You can change wonderful axis here. And uh, yeah, it's wonderfully done. Now, hope you liked it. You also can now do some stuff like we like this, and you can expand, and always will have the same amount of uh, cubes, and always uh, will add more. So. There we go. Hope you liked it.